Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be learning how to turn on the HUD display in the UH60L Blackhawk mod in DCS. There's a couple things that we need to do before we can actually turn the heads up display on, and I'm going to be showing you guys that in VR today. So let's hop into it. Okay guys, so we're in the UH60. We are on the ground in Syria, just hanging out with a couple Apaches at the airport. Um, but to begin, we have to come up here to our top main power panel, turn on the battery, APUs, and generators. After you turn those on, turn on the APU uh, master switch. Can you hear everything getting some AC power? Okay, cool. So, before I show you the keystrokes, let me just show you the actual panel. Down here is your heads up display panel. It's going to have all the buttons that you need for turning it up and down. We can turn the heads up display on actually by clicking that. Now as we can see, the heads up display is on. Let's turn that off and I'll show you guys the uh, buttons that we have to program. So go into adjust controls, UH60L, and it's going to be the AVS7 on off. I have that program to A. Um, and then I also have, uh, to make it dimmer, I have that set to S, and to brighten it is D. So we hop back into the helicopter, and now when I hit A, it turns it on. Hit S, dim, D, brighten. Pretty straightforward. Um, to give you guys a little bit of about the heads up display and the information that it's giving you so that way you're, you don't have to look down here at the gauges while flying we have our heading to waypoint so that's our bearing to waypoint and that's our distance to the waypoint we have our temperatures for our engines that's engine one and engine two temps above this is going to be the airspeed our actual airspeed flying through the air of course uh, this is going to be our ground speed, so if we're taxing to the runway and we have to be cautious about our speed, um, this is where you're going to find it. Right here is engine 1 and engine 2 torque. This is our display page. Up here is our compass tape, so these are all the bearings. And then this is your bearing indicator. This is which way um, your waypoint is. So. Uh, say our waypoint one is over there and we look over there um, that's the way we need to point our aircraft to fly towards it um, here we have our velocity vector indicator so this little square in the center of your HUD is actually going to be telling you which way your aircraft is flying forward or backward so right here we have our pitch ladder our artificial horizon and a reference point so basically this is going to tell you uh, where your horizon is and where to bring it back down to. Um, down here we have our inclinometer and also a master warning. So if you're having any master warning um, lights on um, from your master warning panel, it's going to pop up right here. If you're flying your helicopter and the tilt, you're worried about the tilt, this big circle right here will actually tell you when you're centered. Um, that's pretty good, especially when you're coming in for a landing. You want to make sure you're nice and flat and straight. Um, your engine RPM. Uh, let's go back up here. So this is your barometric altitude. So right now we're at 24 feet. Um, and then this is also going to be your velocity, speed, and radar indicator. Uh, these go up uh, 200 feet per minute, plus or minus. This little triangle right here is your vertical speed marker. Um, this right here is your radar altitude. And then this is your radar altitude indicator right here. So there's a little bar that will fill up with your radar altitude. That's basically it. This is all the information. Just remember, this is your bearing um, distance to your waypoint. Engine temps airspeed above this, ground speed, your engine torques, display page, compass tape, your bearing indicator up here, your pitch ladder, velocity um, indicator, so forward and backwards, 
artificial horizon reference point for your horizon um, this is your inclinometer master warning engine one you know it, it'll tell you if you have warnings your rpm for your engines barometric altitude vertical velocity indicator uh, as well as your velocity marker and radar altitude and then this is your radar altitude indicator right here so yeah that's basically it guys if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're learning something new and subscribe i'm going to be doing a lot more on different aircrafts in dcs right now i'm just going through uh the motions with the blackhawk because i've been in love with the blackhawk ever since i worked for military and everything like that so yep i'll catch you guys on the next one